Hey you guys, how's it going? Aviator Z here, uh, back with another video, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to be a really good or slightly above average Arma 3 Koth pilot. Now, I've been playing Arma 3 for about three, three and a half years now, on and off, due to the fact that, you know, I've had school and whatnot, but I've had just about 2,000 hours playing Arma 3. Of those 2,000 hours, about, I'd say, a th 1,900 hours of those, probably probably somewhere around there, 1,900 hours of those are just on Koth. Uh, I only play King of the Hill, just about, I've only played Invade and Annex like once or twice, maybe three times, but I generally exclusively play Armor 3 King of the Hill, and so... One of the best ways to make money in King of the Hill, because if if you guys play King of the Hill, you'll know that you want to rank up and make a lot of money so that you can get as many guns and buy as many guns that you as you like. One of the best ways to do that is to be a pilot. So today I'm going to be running you guys through one of the games that I had a couple days ago where I decided to pilot and I had a blast and did a pretty good job if I do say so myself so starting off here we're gonna head into uh, this first gameplay where I'm just get in, scrolling get in, through dude. and uh, I'm not really sure what I did but first we're gonna we're gonna pause it right here so when you're piloting the first thing that you want to do is that you want to you want to generally know or have a general idea of where you're trying to go into into the uh, area of operations. So, if the priority is on one side of the uh, the AO, you probably don't want to go near that because there's a lot. There's usually a lot of people there unless your team is controlling the priority zone. So right here, I'm not exactly sure where I went, but we're just gonna watch that, and I'm just gonna walk you through what I go through go high altitude low opening boys high altitude low opening so another thing is my controls are basic i have the stock controls i haven't changed anything another thing that you want to do so if we if we look back if we just scroll back for high altitude, a little bit low opening, boys high altitude low opening you will see that oftentimes what every pilot should do is check the map so every time when i'm piloting a group of people or myself or just one person in I always check the map to see again where the priority zone is I know which side the enemy is usually coming at so I know that coming from this top side of the map where the priority zone is that's usually where op 4 comes in and that uh, the eastern side of the map is where Indy comes in so I know that generally uh, this area right here should be okay to land in any, anywhere around here and I believe I land right here or here in this in this clip right right now So let's see so again my controls are stock. I, I use a keyboard and mouse. This is just yes, a did. simple uh, Simple landing right here. So I'm gonna come in and bank And live? come down and <laughs> just land that was only like a hundred meters <laughs> Standard controls. I was you're gonna die. Just like that. So really, that's that's the gist that's of it. Serious. I mean, when you pilot, you want to be able to. Your main goal should be getting those guys in safely, to where that they can, um, to where they can, you know, make an impact on the battlefield. So if we're gonna we're gonna zoom to this next match. Now this match. Um, I I was I was just piloting the whole match. I didn't I didn't go into the AO until the very end, and my OBS decided to stop recording at the very end, which is unfortunate because there's a really cool clip of uh, me doing something. But unfortunately, that's not here. So piggybacking on uh, onto that, we're just going to skip to a different clip, and. Um, I'm just going to walk you through another clip of where I pilot again, or a couple more clips. Because it's really easy. If you know how to fly, you can be a, be a very effective pilot and really help your team 
win. So, you know, it you just kind of got to feel it. That's something I'd say. So, let's go right here. And this this uh this particular gameplay, I didn't have a mic. I just got this mic and uh so as you see on the left hand screen, left side of the screen, I'm typing to the people at base and uh telling them hey yeah, there's a helicopter if you guys need to respawn respawn and whatnot so i i don't think that guy's mic i see audio is just kind of standing there i think his game was lagging so i just kind of took these guys off and uh and i was off so I'm flying off to the ao and I'm going to make more videos, you know, maybe highlights of me um, piloting and stuff like that. So, as you see again, I checked the map. I'm not sure where, but I, I checked the map. I'm not going to rewind that. So, I checked the map, looked at what areas are cool, and I'm just going to go in. Another key thing about being a pilot is that you want to have different LZs. You don't want to go to the same LZ over and over. I cannot express to you guys enough how important this is because if you go to the same LZ, you somebody's going to get there. There's going to be somebody there who just picks up on it and they're going to mow you down within the vid or shoot you down with an RPG oh, yeah. or a Moz. And, you know, that sucks. You know, you, then you get guys in side chat talking about, you suck, I'm gonna get you. blah, 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 you suck as yeah, a pilot. Said, and uh, uh, that sucks because you know you're not a bad pilot. It's just, you know, you go to the same LZ. So right here, I just come in. A lot of people don't know that on uh, this map, I think, I believe this map is called Zaros, or is the city of Zaros, that you can land on that side of the hill, I especially on the indie side, because not many people want to just camp on that side, although it is a great spot to camp, because Blue 4 likes to land over there, as well as Indy, and if you're out for, you know, you might be able to get a little insertion in there and help your team out. But there I landed on the side of the hill to get those guys in. Where did you kill, uh... And so, Rallying you know it's a it's a good spot and then it's me just flying back going for another um going for another another run so if we skip way down here i believe i had one uh one instance where i took them on a different area oh here's a here's a lz where uh luke he's a he's a pretty cool guy he also has a youtube channel go check him out luke 45 cool he does the same thing. He uh, he makes pretty cool videos on uh, King of the Hill as well. But here's another um, here's another landing. Now, unfortunately, with this clip and the other clip as well, I knew that there's not a lot of people. So if you once the uh, once the bottom goes away, there's not a lot of people in this game in this match right now. It was a uh, it was like one one or two in the morning. Where I was, so uh, not a lot of people play on the server at this time. So, as opposed to the noon, you know, it, it's not, it's fairly uncontested, I'd say. So, it's, um, I I feel pretty free gotcha. whenever I'm That's landing still, when there's not a lot of people because if there's not a lot of people, that means show, it's less show. likely for you to get shot down. So, I landed those guys there and, you know, Oftentimes when I'm flying away, I'll check the map again to see how they're doing, see if they're okay, how they're moving on. So I saw that they're doing good. And I kind of just wanted to show one more. I'm not sure where it was, but I had a different LZ where I took them kind of on the uh, other end of the map. And again, there was, if you see, let me pause right here. These kill assists, these are what get you your points. So let me pause the video again. I'm gonna. Ex it's kind of a, a makeshift video again. I, I made. I'm doing these videos to help people out, but um, I don't really have the uh, the tech the tech to really get to the editing down. But I will. I'm gonna make better videos coming in uh, the future. But the kill assist. We're gonna talk about the kill assist and piloting in general. So when you the more people you drop, the the better chance you have of getting a lot of kill assists. Now what the kill assists are again for for new people is that when you tactically insert or land a helicopter and people get out um i'm not sure what code or anything is it's not really called anything but when they get out and start shooting the enemy you get a partial um 
partial check, I guess. And that's in the form of these kill assists right here in the bottom. So that's how you make a lot of money. Is because, it, say if you drop a full hummingbird worth of people off. Granted, a hummingbird is the smallest helicopter that you can get. That's like seven or eight guys. And, it, you know, seven or eight guys, let's go eight guys times two. If they all get two people, you know, 16 kill assists. And that adds up. So 100 XP, 100 XP, 100 XP, $50, $50, $50, $50. On top of the tactical insurgents. Not to mention that if one of those guys happens to, you know, just go on a killing spree, it just multiplies it even more. And so if they kill, if they kill a guy that has like a, uh, what's it called? A big kill assist, you'll get that as well as they. So, you know, it is a really, really effective way of making a lot of money and a lot of XP. So I've gone from, uh, let's see, uh, ever since I've been playing King of the Hill, there's been about... I've had my server or my account reset three or four times. So this recent time, these the last two times that they reset everybody's account, I would just pilot. And I would go from level one or whenever you unlock the hummingbird. So I, I don't really remember what level that is. So whenever you unlock the hummingbird to around level 35 in about two to three days just off of piling and i'd have easily three four five hundred k just off of job and especially in version version 13 or whatever the latest version of king of the hill is because of the kill assist so i'm going to show you guys another lz and i apologize that it's a bit unorganized but this is somebody had asked me to do one of these videos of how to pilot and you know I said, why not? So here, this is a different LZ. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it all the way back to where I picked these guys up. All right, so let's start here. So I just picked these guys up, as you guys can see, and we're just gonna oh, almost crash in that guy right there. But you know, I just picked these guys up, and I'm flying to the AO, and. You know, I check the map, you know, I check the map every single time. I see where the priority is, and I'm looking, and I, I think I already knew or had an idea where I was going to land at. Again, uh, knowing the map comes in handy as well uh, with, with being a pilot in cough because, yes, I'm coming. you know, you can really get some pretty cool tactical insertions and it makes for some pretty interesting <gasps> battles for your guys if you can get them in there safely into the heat of things, but... You know, you don't always have to get them into the heat of things. So, I'm coming in. I come around the hill with a lot of people, you know, don't do. A lot of people on this map don't don't land over here, which I find interesting. And so, I come around, and I just put them down right here on the opposite side of the map. Because I know that the priority zone is going to end up coming over on this side. So, I got real low, real slow. Wanted to cut off all line of sight from any mobs or anything like that and then I'm out and just like that that's how you do it and that's really all there is to being a good pilot in in Arma 3 in Koth. Um I'd say to start one thing you have to do to be a good pilot is you obviously have to know how to fly and how to land you have to get really good with how to pilot a hummingbird fly the hummingbird in the uh, in Zeus or in practice before you go out to Koth. I mean, you can, because I learned like this, but there was a lot of was a lot of slander because I didn't know how to fly at first. But if you guys want to avoid all the slander and whatnot, um, just go and practice in, you know, the free roam modes. Um, after you get done doing all that, I'd say the next big thing is is no having battlefield awareness. Because if you if you go and you drop them say uh if you drop your guys or try and land your guys near where or just in a hot area you know and you get shot out <laughs> multiple times that means you don't have good battlefield awareness you have to have good battle space awareness to be able to find different lz's and be able to employ your guys effectively number three run the medic perk because there's going to be times where 
you get shot out or your per- or your people get shot out or your engine gets shot out. And you can revive people while you're flying. And having the medic perk really, really helps, you know, revive. Everybody knows how to use the medic where you just medic. It's really good. Um, and really, that's all. You know, knowing the controls, battle space awareness, knowing how to land. Once you have those mastered, you'll be, you'll be a great pilot. You'll be a great pilot. You'll get the hang of it, and it's just repetition. And you can go in any map. Granted, some maps are harder, but any map and really just get people in. And there's been plenty of times where I've gone a whole match just piloting. And I haven't gotten a single kill, and I'd end up at, the, at you know top five, number one, on top of the leaderboards, just off of piloting with no kills, or without even uh, sitting into uh, the priority zone. Uh, just off of piloting and tactical insertions and getting all the kill assist. And just for, uh, I just want to add this into the video because this made me feel warm inside, knowing that there's some there's some good people uh, who understand piloting or who understand the importance of pilots and good pilots on uh on this server. You know, it's always good to get this, so I just want to add this in. It genuinely uh, made me happy, I'm not going to lie. And, you know, I'm just looking for it. It should be around here. There we go. So that should be here. Just want to add this in. Panther, uh, there are enemies inside. Aviator, I generally, genuinely appreciate your that plane? flying skills. Thank you very much. Eh, they're okay. Yeah, we shouldn't take pilots for granted. believe we're gonna win this and that really is the end of the video and we can just this is our first one, watch so, eh? the rest of this you know and i just go uh and right here shameless plug shameless plug you know i have to advertise whenever i can um gotta advertise <laughs> and my typing is a bit off but uh, but yeah, you know, uh, I was I was really happy that at least I was able to reach out to somebody and that somebody was grateful because a lot of people are not. A lot of people are quick to just say, oh, all pilots are trash, all pilots are trash. Not all pilots are trash. Sometimes you're going to get shot out. Sometimes you just unfortunately crash into one of those invisible trees because it happens all the time if you pilot long enough. But, you know, just hearing that, uh, you know, it's a good thing. And so then again, I just came in here, same spot, because I know it was uncontested, and I've been kind of, I was, in this match, I was landing in the same three to four places the whole match, because I wasn't getting shot at, so I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> and I just put these guys in, just like that. Not the prettiest of landings right there, but it got the job done. You're a stud aviator. And bam, just like that, and you know, flew off into the sunset, as they would say. So I was very happy about that, and I was just happy that I was able to help those guys out. But yeah, that's basically how to be a pilot. I know this video was longer than I thought it was gonna be, but I I really just um, want to stress to you guys that it really isn't hard to be a COD pilot. Granted, I've been playing for over for just about 2,000 hours just doing this. But, um, you know, it, it really pays dividends, and you can really make a lot from this. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys make it this far, I really just wanted to help out, you know, all the new players who got the game for Christmas. And for even veteran players who aren't, um, who aren't comfortable piloting, you know, anybody can do it. And I wanted to help everybody out. So, with that being said, Spanish thank you guys for watching. Shooting? I'll see you guys in the next video. And, hey. Stay easy, you guys.